Google's been hogging the AI headlines for weeks, but a quiet San Francisco startup called LoveArt just slipped something wild under the radar. A full-blown design agent that rifts, iterates, and delivers like an entire creative studio working at warp speed. LoveArt officially launches on the 23rd, after more than 1 million people joined the waitlist, it's now alive, for everyone to experience. Their Discord turned into a digital mosh pit, complete with agent battles where users toss mind-bending briefs at the system just to see how far it can stretch. That frenzy is not hype for hype's sake. Love Art is the first tool I have tried that actually thinks in design language, plans its own workflow, and spits out a stack of layered assets ready for pro-level tweaking. Love Art is also sponsoring this video, but I only agreed after trying it myself and realizing how powerful it actually is. And that's why I was genuinely excited to dive in with the Love Art Pro account they handed over. And honestly, the onboarding felt like chatting with an art director friend who never sleeps. You type one prompt, the agent fires up a dozen specialized models, GPT Image 1, Flux Pro, OpenAI 03, Gemini Imagen 3, Kling AI on the video side, Tripo AI for quick 3D, even Suno for background music, and the whole stack starts dancing on a single infinite canvas. In straight numbers, a single prompt can trigger hundreds of micro steps under the hood and land you up to 40 finished assets at once. Traditional brand agencies bill six figures and take weeks for that scope. Love Art compresses it to minutes and a handful of credits. The first thing I tried was almost a prank. I asked for a luxury chocolate commercial that brags about using real insects. The agent analyzed tone, broke the video into beats, picked Flux Pro for the hero images, bounced to Kling for glossy slow motion b-roll, then called Suno to layer an ambient score, all in one pass. It even drafted the voiceover and dropped everything on the canvas with proper layers so I could swap the font or darken the grade without starting over. Then, instead of leaving it at a single concept spot, I pushed it into a full early stage brand kit. Packaging mock-ups, both wrapped and unwrapped with material callouts, premium hero key visuals in gifting and indulgent scenes, lifestyle scenes like coffee pairings and warm holiday sharing moments under natural lighting, a social kit of Instagram square and 4x5 templates plus story vertical and short form teaser variations, ingredient macro stills for educational carousel frames, palette and typography refinements inspired by metallic beetle sheen accents and cacao neutrals, slow melt and impact motion loops with ambient chime and soft percussion audio stubs, even an editable dye line ready for production tweaks. After that sugar rush experiment, I flipped to something totally different, a steampunk themed movie poster for the channel. One prompt, aged steampunk poster for the Bob Doyle Media film. And the agent whipped up vintage gears, brass type, and a weathered tagline in under two minutes. The kicker was not the graphic, it was the talk tab tune cycle that followed. I hit tab, clicked the subtitle air, told the agent to swap the tagline for question everything, pressed enter, and it rebuilt the layout on the same canvas without tanking the rest of the design. On top of the original result, I branched out additional visual directions in the same session, an oxidized teal and tarnished silver variant to test cooler mood, a high contrast near noir copper edge glow teaser, a minimal billboard ready type dominant rendition, a parallax micro motion loop with drifting particulate for social, a set of vector emblem glyphs, gauge lens winged cog valve spun out as clean SVG, adaptive aspect versions for thumbnail, vertical story square community post, narrow banner plus alternative stacked and condensed typography lockups, Photoshop vibes but with an LLM behind every tool. Once I knew the basics worked, I stress tested the platform with a web portfolio brief that demanded shader effects, particle systems, and a vertical scrolling layout. Lavart mapped out page sections like a UX architect, cited WebGL style shader snippets for devs, then stitched the mockups into a giant scrollable draft. Each frame sat on its own layer, editable in real time. I nudged the hero headline left, asked for brighter particles, tapped tune, and it regenerated the segment without touching the rest. Final export, PSD, SVG, even a video preview. So dev teams can drop the assets straight into code. Underneath the showy demos, Love Art's secret sauce is orchestration. 
Instead of locking you to one engine, it runs 12 Frontier models in tandem and lets you pipe each step through whichever brain makes the most sense. Want retro pixel art tarot cards? Fine! Route the prompt to Ideogram 3 for clean pixel control, then hand the output to Rodan for dimensional depth if you need a tilt-shift animation later. Need a medieval knight storyboard with audio cues? Fire the image beats through GPT Image 1, push the motion segments to Runway Gen 4, turn on Suno for a medieval folk underscore, and bake the rough cut with one command. The interface shows every node in a visible task chain, so you can trace exactly which model rendered what, tweak any branch, and rerun just that slice of the pipeline. Designers love control, so LoveArt loaded a style library packed with trend palettes. Neon Vaporwave, Muted Editorial, Y2K Glitch, and locks a project to your chosen aesthetic so subsequent generations stay on brand. Once assets land on the canvas, every layer is still vector or text selectable. Asking, give me an editable version, triggers the agent to peel apart the flattening and hand you live type boxes. Export as layered PSD or clean SVG, and you can jump into Figma or Photoshop without the usual AI mush. That flow is exactly why vertical agents like LoveArt have Silicon Valley investors drooling. Jared Friedman from YC calls them autonomous teammates, and he is right. General purpose assistants write emails, but vertical agents slot into revenue pipelines. Advertising teams fire off last minute holiday promos in minutes. E-commerce managers roll out A-B storefront banners and short-form thumbnails in one hit. Freelancers handle client batches solo because the agent handles grunt edits. Small business owners tap it for pitch decks and hiring posts without hiring anyone. LoveArt is basically the Canva dream that marketers wanted in 2019, but built on top of GPT-level cognition and multimodal orchestration, so speed and fidelity do not trip over each other. Obviously, no tool is perfect yet. In my poster session, the editable text pass glitched once and returned the raster image unchanged, beta life. The color separation experiment for screen print layers missed half the pink plate on the first try, so I had to brush erase and reprompt. Occasionally, a variant will overstylize a secondary element when you push extreme palette shifts, but that is fiddly edge case stuff. The core engine handled raw creative planning significantly better than any AI design gimmick I have tried since the first mid-journey patch landed. One thing to watch is the credit meter. Each full chain burns tokens quickly if you submit giant prompts. LoveArt shows an estimated runtime per step, so break big projects into phases. Concept images first, refine, then fire the video run, it will spare you double charges and keep the iterative loop feeling snappy. Also, as they head into the July 23rd launch slate, the interface is getting a refreshed homepage for clearer entry points, a dual chat feature so you can pursue two creative threads in parallel without context bleed, and an enhanced case interaction interface that makes replay branching and selective reruns faster, which should further optimize that credit to outcome ratio. Founders? The company sits in San Francisco, but co-founder Haofan Wang trained at Carnegie Mellon and built the multimodal stack from scratch. They raised quietly, though whispers say the seed round closed fast after the waitlist numbers leaked. Vertical agents are hot, and LoveArt is first to market with a polished, infinite canvas fused to layer-aware generative models, so it is poised to carve a niche before Adobe or Autodesk ship their own. If you are a dev thinking, I already code motion shaders, why would I load an agent? LoveArt is not here to replace hardcore tooling. It shortcuts the blank canvas agony and nails client mocks so you can spend time polishing the edge cases, not redrawing draft three. If you are strictly social media, the batch output mode lets you spin 10 story variants at once, each in consistent brand color, all export ready for Instagram, TikTok, short swats, whatever. I could keep poking corners of this thing all night, but you get the picture. LoveArt packs a full creative department behind one chat window, and the numbers back it up. One prompt, 40 assets, 12 specialized models, five days to six-figure user traction, now leveling up again with dual chat, a refreshed homepage, 
and tighter case interaction just ahead of the July 23rd push. If you want early access, the link is below. Skip the 100,000 plus queue with the invite code they gave us. Dive in, test a wild brief, and let me know what you build, because I will probably feature the craziest ones in a follow-up. Get on the Love Art waitlist today at loveart.ai and start vibe designing now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.